Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to welcome the Honorable Heather Wilson, Secretary of the Air Force. One of the most important questions that I ask is uh, of people is, what do you need from me that you're not getting? Because I can't stay in their way, I can't micromanage what they do, but I can help enable what they do. So the question is, has there been any progress made regarding the portability of professional licenses between states for military spouses? Probably one of the most important things we did early on as three service secretaries together was to write to every governor and to say, uh, you know, there are two things that our military members say that matter um, to them that really stand out. One is the quality of the public schools near our bases, and the second is reciprocity of licensure for family members. So if you're a teacher or a nurse or a lawyer or an engineer, you can move from one state to the next state and not have to have a gap in your professional career. What surprised me most when I came back was how much readiness had declined in the Air Force. And that had nothing to do with the airmen and the job they're doing. It had to do with a lack of budget and support uh, from the Congress over time and 27 straight years of combat operations. I knew that we needed to focus on the restoring the readiness of the force. There is one continuing effort in our budget, and that is to keep improving readiness to win any fight any time. That's what you expect of your Air Force, and I look forward to your questions. I've been fighting side by side with the Army my entire career, and it's my obligation, I believe, to ensure that any soldiers, sailor, marine, airmen who are on the ground who hear jet noise, I never want them to look up. I want them to know it's us. Without question, the closest relationship has been with the Chief of Staff, Dave Goldfein. And I've had other professional relationships where they're very positive professional relationships, including in the Air Force. Chief Wright is absolutely wonderful. And the, the whole leadership team is, is really high performing. Um, but this is an unusual construct under our Constitution, if you think about it. The authority under law is with the civil authority. The influence is with the Chief of Staff. So the law says these, the service secretary has all of the authority to run the service, but the Chief of Staff has most of the influence. If you work together, you can accomplish a heck of a lot. And, and Dave Goldfein is an, is, is an exceptionally good leader. And we have this obligation to make sure that any airman that we send into harm's way goes properly trained, properly equipped, well-led, and when they come home, we've taken care of their families while they're gone. That's our obligation. And so restoring the readiness of the force certainly was a big accomplishment. I think we've gone a long way in cost-effective modernization and taking the authorities we've been given to buy things faster and smarter. We've stripped 100 years out of Air Force procurement in the last year. We trust that you've been well-trained. We will try to give you a clear set of mission parameters and the skills and the abilities to get after the job. Don't wait to be told what to do. I hope people have a better quality of life and quality of service because we were here. And I hope that the Air Force is better because I served. <laughs>